We're happy to announce that PF Sense Plus software version 2305 is now available. This is a regularly scheduled release of PF Sense Plus software, including new features, additional hardware support, and bug fixes. The release contains significant enhancements, such as support for IIMB cryptographic acceleration, a new packet capture GUI, experimental Ethernet filtering support, fixed automatic dynamic gateway names, a UDP broadcast relay package, unicast CARP support, GUI support for AT&T residential fiber network style WANs, and WireGuard installed by default. You can visit our release notes for the full list of improvements and our upgrade guide to get started with best practices for upgrading, which are both linked below. Here is an overview of the major changes and features that come with this release. Support for IIMB Cryptographic Acceleration PF Sense Plus software now includes support for cryptographic acceleration through the multi-buffer crypto for IPsec library. This library is a highly optimized software implementation of the core cryptographic processing for IPsec, WireGuard, and OpenVPN. IIMB is used in both DPDK and VPP. NetGate has also added enhancements that will boost ARM64 performance with ARM SIMD extensions and SHA and AES instructions. A new packet capture GUI. The PF Sense Plus 2305 release also introduces a new packet capture GUI with granular control features. This new feature makes it easier for users to perform packet captures and analyze network traffic. It simplifies the process of capturing packets by providing a user-friendly interface, enabling users to quickly set up and initiate packet captures without having to rely on command line tools. Furthermore, the granular control options allow users to narrow down the scope of their captures and focus on specific traffic patterns or potential issues. Experimental Ethernet Layer 2 Filtering Support Another new feature available with this release is Experimental Ethernet Filtering Support. This feature is disabled by default but can be enabled under Advanced Firewall Settings by selecting Enable Ethernet Filtering. Ethernet rules are evaluated before traditional Layer 3 rules such as floating rules, interface group rules, and interface rules. It is important to note that no state is maintained and the default behavior is to pass. UDP Broadcast Relay Package The latest release also includes support for the UDP Broadcast Relay Package, which listens for UDP broadcast packets and retransmits them across multiple interfaces. This feature enables broadcast discovery protocols to cross separate networks benefiting a wide range of applications and devices. These include soundbars, media streaming devices, and even LAN multiplayer gaming. Fixed Automatic Dynamic Gateway Names A bug in PF Sense Plus 2301 resulted in some automatic dynamic gateway names appearing in mixed case rather than all uppercase, potentially causing connectivity issues until the default gateway or gateway group membership was updated. The issue affected users with mixed case interface descriptions, leading to discrepancies between old all caps names and the new mixed case gateway names. This bug has been fixed in version 2305, but users who manually changed gateway entries must correct them again after upgrading. PHP updated to version 8.2.4. PHP has been updated to version 8.2.4 in PF Sense Plus 2305. This update ensures that the software remains up to date with the latest PHP improvements, providing better performance, security, and compatibility. Unicast CARP support. Unicast CARP support is now available, paving the way for future enhancements in virtualization and cloud environments, including high availability in AWS and Azure. NetGate is diligently working on this feature and looks forward to bringing more exciting updates to users in upcoming releases. GUI support for AT&T residential fiber network style WANs. As of this release, several new and recent features combined enable using the GUI alone to configure a setup compatible with the AT&T residential fiber network. The same setup should work for any similar ISPs which require special handling, such as priority code point tagging on VLAN 0 and 802.x authentication pass-through to a modem. Previous versions of PF Sense Plus software required additional scripts and or manual changes outside the GUI. There is a new configuration recipe which covers using these features in the GUI to configure this use case. 
In addition to the above highlights, over 100 other updates have been included in this release across many functional areas. The release notes and upgrade guide are available with the full list of improvements and best practices for upgrading. For cloud platforms where PFSense Plus is available, AWS and Azure, PFSense Plus software version 2305 release will be available as soon as the publishing process for each platform completes. Our efforts are made possible by the support of our customers and the community. Thank you and talk to you soon.